Au sud de Lexington, à quelques kilomètres seulement de la Kentucky River, se trouve l'un des haras les plus célèbres aux états unis Tyler Made Farm. Ce nom s'est imposé comme incontournable sur la scène hippique mondiale, au sein d'une région ultra concurrentielle, depuis ses débuts dans les années 70 sous l'impulsion de Joe Tyler, puis de ses quatre fils. So then my grandfather, he's a very forward-thinking kind of person. And he said, okay, we're gonna breed three times a day. We're gonna breed on Sunday. So then books kind of went from being like 50 mare books to 100 mare books. Um, and then all these mare, and then Gainesbury had 40 stallions. So all these mares were coming in from all over the place and Gainesbury couldn't board them all. And then, you know, the, the farms closer, they were privately owned. So a lot of these farms like TaylorMade, Three Chimneys was another one, got set up just because Gainesbury and other farms like Claiborne needed a place to board satellite mares. Um, so that's how Daylor Made started, and it was a raw piece of land. It was a, a bunch of brothers, there's a pickup truck and a pitchfork, and and they just, you know, started piece by piece. My grandfather managed Gainesway Farm for 40 years, and they all worked on the farm. Um, and back then, my grandfather was able to save enough money to buy this farm, Um, which is our main division called Bonaterra. And back then it was really, really far out in the country. It was, nothing was developed around here. It was really raw land. Right now we have about 1,400 acres of continuous land. Um, and it's just been a really slow process. Starting in 1976 is when our first horse came on the farm. En étendant progressivement son activité avec l'arrivée de plusieurs étalons dans le prometteur Not This Time, mais aussi en se construisant un portefeuille de clients internationaux longs comme le bras, Tyler Mail est donc passé en 45 ans d'une friche à un empire. On the farm, we typically keep between 5 and 700 horses, just depending on what time of year it is. Obviously, in the spring when we're having babies, there's more horses around. Um, but we're just a nursery for the most part. We take some layups, but for the most part, we concentrate on broodmares, weanlings, get them to their yearling year, take them to the sale, and then they come back to us when they're retired. I like to think of it as like kind of a, it's a All, one stop shop. I mean, as far as you know, if you have your your financial advisor, he can do everything for you, or you can you can select. So we have so, some clients that board with us. We have some clients that board with us, and they breed mares, and they stand stallions, and they sell horses. So they, we do everything for them. We have other clients that just use us for the sales agency. Car oui, Tyler Made est surtout connu comme la référence mondiale aux ventes aux enchères, avec des records de prix allant jusqu'à 10 millions de dollars et plus de 100 gagnants de groupe 1 élevés et ou vendus pour leurs clients. La liste est impressionnante, avec des chevaux comme Dancing Brave, Dajur, Spadestown et bien sûr le légendaire American Pharaoh. You know, we had 20 grade 1 winners uh, last year alone, so that was just a benchmark year. Um, and really, it's like... I mean, it's our, it's our motto, it's our uh, mission, but like customer success is what's most important to us. You know, that's what we're most known for. We're the largest consigner in the world. We sell 800 to 1,000 horses a year, just depending on how the market is and the full crops and, and whatnot. But um, I think we did, we did research. We're, we're at a sale of one out of every four days of the year. So, um, but they all kind of tend to clump up in the fall. But, you know, when it comes to that, our, our, Thoroughbred advisors are kind of like bloodstock agents in-house, and each client that sells with us is assigned a thoroughbred advisor. So we help people appraise and rank their mares, help them um, decide what to sell, who to breed their mares to, what's most commercial, what get a game plan. I mean, that's what we really try to help people do is just get the most out of their um, program. So, you know, whatever their goal is, we try to help them. We take a photo of every single horse we raise every single month they're on the farm. So we see them, we have a photo history of them if they were born here from the day they were born until their whole life. And of those 129 grade one winners, like they come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them vetted well, some of them didn't vet well. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. You know, like horses are amazing.